The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to one of our webinars that we hold here in Saturn City, Johannesburg, good old sunny South Africa. And by the way, happy Halloween to everybody out there. For those of you that celebrate it and want to dress up like idiots and run around getting yourself totally sick on candy and all that kind of stuff. But you know what, it's great fun. You know, you can never take the kid out of anybody. What are we going to do tonight? We're going to do something pretty exciting, something slightly different, and that is, how does one trade Kruger Rands? Okay, now, first things first. In order to trade Kruger Rand, you need to obviously go and register specifically for a Kruger Rand account. All right, so now, how do we do it? You've got to go along to our website, okay? And you go along to the banner you see displaying in front of us right now. And we will go and select Kruger Rand. There it is. I will click on register for Kruger Rand. I've already done that. And what's going to happen is it's going to take you to this page over here. And yeah, you will need to register all your necessary details, etc., etc. Please be as accurate as possible, especially when it gets to the email address. You know, sometimes people think, you know, I know my email so well. You know, how can I make a mistake? Trust me, it happens. So just double check it. But before you leave this page, do yourself a favor. You see all this stuff on the left-hand side here? Some very interesting history over there, some information. It's not a heck of a lot. So take a bit of time, a couple of minutes, just go read through it. I'm sure you're going to find something there that will be useful to you. Once you've done that, you go along and you click on the submit button. And what's going to happen then is you're going to receive an email that looks like this. Now, guys, keep this email in a safe place because you have a different username and password when trading Kruger Rand. Okay, so keep it in a safe place. And um, the other thing you're going to notice, by the way, oh, and there it wants to change my scheme again, but never the mind that I do apologize for that. Right, let's go down. Let's scroll down, and you'll see it'll show you where you can actually download the MetaTrader 4 platform. All right? But if you've already downloaded it, don't worry about this. See, this is only if you're downloading it for the very first time. You also then have a button where you can go and download for the web trader. Okay, but let me pause you for a moment, shall we? <clears throat> I want to highlight something. You can trade, and by the way, this is not only applicable to the uh, Kruger Rands. You can trade using your web trader as well as your MetaTrader 4 platform by using the same login details. What's the difference, you might ask? Okay, the difference is that if I go and download my platform, this is a permanent download, and I can only download it onto my laptop or desktop. If I've got a work laptop, chances are it's going to block you because there'll be an admin block on there. When I'm using the web trader, oh, that's a different story. Let me show you quickly what happens there. All right, so there we go. Now let's go onto the web trader. The web trader, you don't need to download, okay, because it's web-based. What does this mean to you as the client? Well, simply, let's say um, your PC has gone in for repairs, for argument's sake, but you would still like to trade. So you can actually go and trade on anybody else's PC. Just keep that email with those login details close at hand because you're going to be needing them. So you can trade sheets. If you want to go to the internet cafe, you can trade there as well. Remember, it's no download required. Now we want to log in. So let's go back to the email, shall we? All right, and the email is here. Let's take the account number. All right, in this particular case, I'm still using a demo account. All right, you can trade demo and live on that, which is quite nice. Let's go along and copy and paste. And guys, I've mentioned this to you before. Copy and paste the password, right? Simply because it's very easy to make a mistake. Okay, 
Uh, sometimes you might think it's an L and it's an I or it's a one or it's an O and it's a zero. And I mean, you don't want these niggly little things that are going to frustrate you. And then when you log in and it says to you, invalid account, and you think, ah, oh, what the heck, this is crazy. No, you don't want that. All right. So now we've put in the details there. You see it says real server. That's if it's a live account. All right. Now <clears throat> I'm going a demo. So let's quickly change it, shall we? Demo server. I log in and it's going to take a few seconds. But for those of you, who have already downloaded the MetaTrader 4 platform, you're going to notice something very unique and very different here. Look at what you see in front of you right now. The whole setup is entirely different. And the reason why they introduced the web trader was specifically for novice traders who wanted something simple and straightforward. Now, next week, I'm going to do a webinar, same time, same place, but I'm going to discuss the web trader in detail. All right. <clears throat> and in that one, I'm going to be covering the, the currency pairs, the commodities, the indices, the whole bank duties. We're going to cover that over there in more detail. But have a look at this. <clears throat> There's something that's very unique and special about a Kruger Rand um, account, and that is it's Rand based. All right. Rand based. So you can go and trade a Kruger Rand at 1% of the market value. <laughs> what a pleasure. Okay. But you've got to keep something in mind as well. Guys, when you're trading Kruger Rand on this platform, you're not purchasing a physical Kruger Rand as such. Okay. You are trading virtual Kruger Rands. All right, and it works exactly the same way as let's say if you were trading gold, uh, silver, platinum, copper, uh, pound, dollar, whatever. It works exactly the same way. Only thing is, you're trading Kruger Rand. Simple, great. Now have a look here on the left hand side. Look at this. Ha! This is another one of the big differences that you're going to find. And that is, look at my pairs or my instruments, if I can call them that, that I'm trading. There's only five. Do you notice that? There's only five. First of all, there's dollar rand. Okay. You've got the JSE. You have the Kruger rand, which normally you say to me, but where's my gold? Well, that's the gold. All right. Great. I have platinum. And then I have silver, and it's only those five instruments that I can trade on this account. If I want to go and set up my graph, I go along to the top there. Everybody have a look at that. I go dollar rand, and look there, I've got the breakdown. Let's select Kruger Rand, give it a few seconds to set up, and voila, there we've got it. It's all set up over there. Now, you can, you'll see there's only four of them that fit in here, and that's because of the space thing. So if you want to put a fifth one in, you're going to have to take one of the others off in order to put it in. But for now, let's keep it nice and simple, shall we? How do I trade? Well, if you just cast your mind back, for those of you who've been following me up to now, and by the way, we've now made the recordings. Remember I've been promising you? Well, the recordings are there. If you want us to send you the links to the recordings, please just send me an email and either myself or the chapter that deals with that, Mustafa, will send the links to you. Only a pleasure. And there's a lot more recordings that are coming on board. So we've got something really special planned for you guys. All right. Great stuff, man. So let's say I've now gone and I've done the analysis on the uh, chart itself. All right. The analysis has been done, and I'm saying for argument's sake, um, all right, although I've got a, a red candle forming there, which means it's coming down, for the purpose of the exercise, and to keep it nice and simple, I'm going to put in a buy order. Okay, so I'm going to trade up, all right? I go to my Kruger Rand, and I just click buy. There we go. Now... Take special note here, guys, because yes, there's one big difference, all right? And the difference is, when I'm trading my volume, my minimum is 1.00. Remember, 
I'm trading rands, not dollars. Cool. Lovely, man. Good. Okay, so now, now I'm going to be trading. I've put in my trade size. I'm not going to use the stop loss and take profit over here because it's a little bit complicated. I'm going to show you an easier, shorter version. So let's put in the trade, shall we? I'm going to click buy. And I've now purchased one virtual Kruger Rand at 1% of the market value. I close and da -da, there we have it. I've got my Kruger Rand order in right now. And immediately I'm in a minus. Obviously, that's because of the spread. Okay, so that's where we've taken our fee. And whatever happens thereafter, if it goes into a beautiful plus, great stuff. That is yours. We don't take off any commission. Everyone happy with that? Fantastic. Now, remember, with the Kruger Rand, once again, I can trade if I think the market is going to go up. So the Kruger Rand is going to increase in value. So I would put in a buy. Great. If the market's dropping, I can put in a sell. So I can decide how long I want to keep it for. Do I want to buy more thereafter? It's entirely up to you. It's the same as for any trade. But now you might be saying, hey, whoa, hang on, Tony. You're always bullying us about putting in a stop loss to take profit. You're right. So let's show you how simple it is to do that, shall we? Great. So let's go along to the order line again. Double click. <laughs> and there we go. Now. If you remember, how did we set it up the last time on the dollar account? This works the same way. You remember, guys, this is your account. Right. You decide when do you want to cash in? What is what is my acceptable loss? What is my acceptable profit? And everybody is different. What works for you. This is your little business. All right. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to say, great, you know what? I'm prepared to lose 100 rands, but I want to make 300 rands. Everyone happy with that? Right. So now what do I do? I go along to my price. There it is there. 13,266 rands and 61 cents. So I say, okay, I'm prepared to lose 100 rands. So if it drops down by 100 rands, to 13,166, kick me out, I love to trade another day. So let's punch that in, shall we? So it's 13,166 and 61 cents. That's where it must kick me out. But then I say, right, if it goes in my favor, which I'm hoping it will, and it goes up, let's say, by 300 rands, bank me. So it's going to go up from 13,266 with 300 rand to 13,566. So it's 13,566. And let's not forget the change. There we go. And all I do is update. And that is how simple it is. Look how easy that is, eh? Nice and simple. Now my stop loss and take profit is there. And by the way, if you are trading on the MetaTrader 4 platform as well, this trade will automatically show on there and vice versa. All right, happy with that? Fantastic. Right, before I leave you, I'm just going to show you one last thing. <clears throat> and you notice I'm not going through a lot of information over here because I'm going to go into a lot of detail next week when I'm going to focus just on the web trader. So be sure to tune in next week. All right, one last thing I want to quickly show you. Actually, two last things. First of all, not only can you choose to set your charts there, you can choose what type of chart you want, candle, line graph, bar chart, up to you, your time zones, there they are. So it's exactly the same, but it's a simpler, simpler form. Personally, I like the MetaTrader 4 platform because there's so much more I can do with that. If I want to close this trade, for those of you who've already used the MetaTrader 4 platform, you normally have in the corner here, you have that little X, eh? Hey? All right. In this particular case, if I want to close it, double click, and I'll just click close. And that is it. That is how simple it is. I'm not going to close it. I want to leave it open because I want to show you on the MetaTrader platform what happens over there. All right. Everyone happy? Fantastic. Let's get going, shall we? Let's close this now and let's go straight over to my MetaTrader 4 platform. Right, when I log in, I do the same thing as what I do before. I'm going to go to login. I'm going to go to my email. 
put in the details, save it as Gold Demo or Gold Live. No difference there. Save the account information, log in, and off we go. And I will be able to see it when I go to my navigator. Let's quickly open my navigator. Let's give it a bit of space, shall we? And there I will be able to see. So yeah, you just need to make a special note which one of those little chappies over there are in fact my normal demo account and which one is my Krugerand account. All right. You know, of course, that when he's wearing a gold jacket, it's my live account. But then again, your live account for your normal MetroTrader platform one, the, the dollar-based one, and the Krugerrand, they'll both be wearing gold jackets. So you just need to keep a little paper there to remind you which one is which. Happy? Fantastic. So let's get rid of my navigator for now, shall we? And oh, he's stubborn. He doesn't want to go. There we go, we've got the market watch. And there, once again, you see there, we've only got the five instruments that we can trade. The minute I change to my other account, you know, of course, how we do it, okay? You go to my navigator, double click, and then it'll open it up, and you'll suddenly see all the other instruments and currency pairs, etc., showing in my market watch. Fantastic. If I want to open up a new, um, uh, Graph, it's exactly the same. I click on the one I want to. Let's say for argument's sake, I want to open up uh, JSE for argument's sake. I click on it. Right click. Okay. Go to the chart window. And there we go. It's all set up. All right. Get rid of my market watch. It's taking space. I don't need it. I know where to find it if I need to use it again. I then go along to my templates, which I've created before. In this particular case, I've already got four different templates. I'm going to go for Tony4, which is my favorite one. And there we have it. Now I have a chart for JSE index, a one-hour chart. And that's how simple it is. But let's go back now. I want to go back to my Kruger Rand. And remember I said to you the order would show on both? Well, let's go to my trade line. There it is there. And there we go. There is my order. Everybody see that? All right. And there is my entry point over there. Everyone see that? And I do the same thing, guys. Exactly the same thing. If I now want to go and set my stop loss and take profit over here, how do I do it? All right. Go. Cool. I go to my order line. Right click. Modify or delete order. And then I just highlight over here. All right, and I'd set my stop loss and take profit the way I want it to be. Now, it's already in place, so happiness is. If I want to go do adjustments, let's say I feel that, okay, it's moving quite nicely, and, and I'm going to stick with this order because it's going to go in my favor. Then I can always go and I can adjust it slightly, maybe move it up by five points or pips, or move it down by five points or so. And, and so I can play around with it. But it works exactly the same way. Now, before I say goodbye to you, let's quickly go and have a look. Where's my stop loss and take profit? Because it's set a little bit far. Let's squeeze this in there. And there we've got it. There we are. So here we go. Here is my stop loss over here. Okay. It's 100 rands down. Okay. So if it drops by 100 rands, kick me out. Live to trade another day. All right. Now, I'm saying, no, you know what, I think it's going to go up by another 300 rand. I think I'm being a little bit ambitious there, don't you, don't you think? But, hey, what the heck, it's a dummy account, let's play around with it. And this is how you learn, okay? Always use your demo account in conjunction with your live account, because your demo account is there for you to play around, to test your, your, your strategies, as it were. And from there, you want to see what works, what doesn't work. And so you can then fine-tune it to what suits your own style, your own method of trading. Happy? Fantastic. Great. So in conclusion here, remember this is a RAND-based account, number one. Number two, you are purchasing virtual Kruger RANDs, not the real McCoy. Yeah. Virtual Kruger RANDs at 1% of the market value. Number three, I can trade whether the market is going up or whether the market is coming down. I'm still in full control of my trades at all 
times. Okay, guys, nice and simple tonight. Nothing fancy, nothing too extravagant. Do yourself a favor. Come on, give it a bash, man. Let's see how it works, and let me know how it goes. Remember that if you need any assistance, all right, I'm not taking any questions tonight. Um, I prefer if you send me the email then a, and a contact number, then I can either call you, or I can send you some stuff, right? Support at acmgold.co.za or you can direct it straight to me, Tony James, one word, all small letters, Tony James at acmgold.com. That's Tony James at acmgold.com. So until next time, good luck with your trades. Go out there, go and have some fun with the kids on Halloween, all right, and uh, take some enos afterwards, because I think after all the sweets you're going to guzzle down, it's going to have a bit of a reverse effect there. But have lots of fun out there, and we'll see you next week, same time. Cheers for now, guys.